Hi, so today we're going to be showing you how to add administrator to your WordPress installation, but we're going to be doing it via um, MySQL. So the first thing you want to do is to go to your um, PHP MyAdmin interface on your web hosting solution, um, and you want to navigate down to your uh, to your users table. The first thing that we want to do is we are going to insert a new record. So we're going to give it an ID. So in this instance, um, I'm going to give it an ID of two. Um, the user logon is the username that you want to use. So I'm going to call this one test user. Uh, the password. So this is uh, encrypted, so you want to use you want to select MD5 for encryption. And then you want to put your clear text password in here. So I'm going to be using test user one two three exclamation mark. <coughs> um, don't need to complete a user nice name. It's not uh, it's not crucial. Um, we want to give this uh, an email address. So I'm going to give this uh, info. Can you leave the user URL blank? Um, now we want to give it a date and time, so I'm going to do from today, from midnight. Uh, don't need an activation key. Um, we want a user status, we want to leave this one as zero, and the display name, we don't need to, uh, to do that at the moment. Um, so we're going to click on go. That's going to insert the query into the database. So if we go back here now, we can see that actually we've now got uh, our second user created here, test user. Um, so the next thing we want to do is we want to insert the uh, user meta values. And we're going to insert two of these. So we're going to go to the user meta table. And again, we're going to insert a row. Now the user meta ID gets automatically populated so you don't need to add anything in that. Um, the next thing that we want to do is we want to add the same user ID that we created before um, which is done and for our <coughs> meta key we want to insert the capabilities tab so uh, the capabilities option so um, what you want to do is whatever prefix you're using uh, you want to add that in front of it. So in my instance I'm creating, I'm using this IRTech underscore prefix um, and then we want to uh, we want to enter the capabilities option. Make sure we spell that correctly. Um, and then the next thing that you want to do is you want to tell WordPress to um, um, install as an administrator. So to do that we need this option here so uh, uh, you can copy and paste that from somewhere on the internet that's absolutely fine um, we don't need to en enter anything else here that's that's it and then we're going to click on go so that's the first one the next one that we want to enter again um, is under the uh, user meta so we want to create a second record um, in this one and again um, we're going to leave the meta ID blank but we're going to enter our user ID which is the same as previously and in this instance we want to insert the user level so again if you're using your own prefix make sure that you add it in the front otherwise just use the default WP underscore so we're going to add our one and this is user level <clears throat> and the meta value here is 10. Click on OK that's going to enter the details for us and that's it that's all there is to it so we've entered the two meta user meta options and the one user so now we can go to the um, website and we can test the login.
So the user details that we uh, created should now be active. And here we are, so we can enter the details here. Enter the password that created, test user 123 exclamation mark. Now you can either save it here or don't need to save it there. But that's it. So we can go to our users and we should see our test user that we created here. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment underneath the video and uh, be great if you could like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.